Hello everyone and welcome to Nutrition Simplified. Today we're going to talk about the other macronutrient, fat. Now we've done protein, we've done carbs, and this is the last one, fat. Fat is essential for maintaining overall health and supporting various bodily functions. There was a time when it was demonized, but now we understand that it should play a crucial role in our diet. There are certain vitamins and minerals that are fat soluble, but without fat intake, these nutrients can't do their job. Fat also plays a massive role in producing hormones, hormones that are responsible for things like metabolism, mood regulation and reproduction. Fat also does loads of more amazing things for us and our health. So now we know a little bit more about what it does, let's simplify it for you. Now fats play loads and loads of different very important roles. Imagine your body is like a well-organized library with loads and loads of shelves stacked full with loads and loads of books. Well, fats can be like the librarians. They play a very important role in keeping everything in order. Our librarians carefully categorize and organize all the books like fats help categorize and store essential nutrients in our body. They make sure that important vitamins like A, D, E and K are readily available when needed. And without fats, these vital nutrients might be misplaced or unavailable for use. Now fats can also be the skilled craftsmen who built the library. They help form the walls of your cells and contribute to the protective layers around vital organs. These structural fats provide stability and support, much like the framework of a well-built library. Fats are also like the messengers who make sure that communication works well in the library. They help transmit signals between cells, making sure that instructions are given accurately and efficiently. This network communication by fats allows your body's systems to work. And next, fats are the reserves of energy in your library. They're like the backup generators that kick in when you need the extra power. When you engage in activities that require sustained energy, like a long exercise or a long day at work, these stored fats are mobilized and they kick in to provide that fuel you need to keep going. Now, people often choose low-fat or no-fat options with good intentions, hoping to improve their health or lose weight. But just as mentioned, fats are amazing for your health. But just like other things, they can be good and a bad version. So good fats can be things like avocados, olive oil, nuts, seeds and fatty fish and meats. Where bad fats can be things like processed foods like pastries and snacks, fried foods like french fries. And these bad fats are the unhelpful clutter in the library. Imagine if there were stacks of old books that are just ripped and torn and broken and not readable. These are scattered around everywhere, making it hard to find the helpful, important, readable books. These bad fats can be harmful to your health when you eat loads and loads of them. And they can lead to health issues like high cholesterol and heart issues. So I hope that simplified fats for you. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and please continue to watch. Thank you so much. And until next time, we'll see you soon. Take care.